Here we are, MP is uh, on vacation. Leon is filming. That's why we were using our backup audio and I hope you get the full experience still with this audio because we have a second video about what is a good work setup if you work with a smartphone only, which I do. I usually work if I'm at the office from our large editing PC. We of course also have Macs here. We actually don't care about what we use and I don't even know where my laptop is. It's my editing laptop because this is my main work device. So why do I like the Samsung? Um, especially because I like the idea that Samsung came up with the very first Samsung DeX. When you just put your device in the Samsung DeX, it launches its own operating system. And with the involvement over the years, they had a new smaller Samsung DeX. I think this is the two or however they call it. And now to go one step further, all you need to launch the operating system is just an HDMI to USB-C cable, simply PC like experience. <laughs> And I, of course, worked a lot with DeX, so I want to show you what it can do and what is the heck to actually work, I would say, PC-like with that thing. Yeah, let me work you through it, how easy it is. So, all you need is your device. Do you want to see the difference with this thing and this thing, or do we just, well, power, power. Okay, we want to show you the real office situation. That's how it looks like. It's not this fancy, everything is ready made because you come to the office and someone took the stuff and so you kind of have to re-plug it in to make it work. And the cool thing with this DeX was it just stays on the PC here. You can also, because you have a USB port, can easily connect a keyboard or let's say another mouse, which you don't need because this thing here also turns into a mouse pad once it launches. But as I said, this is the older version, not the very first one. Start with Dex and now it launches the OS. And here you are. Let's see if it actually found the, the keyboard. It did. So this launches the keyboard and what I do is I use, I launch Chrome where I'm locked into my Google. But the thing is, this is the mobile experience because it thinks you're still on the mobile device. So what I do is I of course want to use multiple windows. And then that's my hack. I tell it it's a desktop because then you can even start going to your email inbox. Here we are. And now I could start using this with the shortcuts. So with the keyboard shortcuts, I could just press enter to open the email. I could press like C, I can delete that one. I okay, this is done. Go to, so I can use my keyboard shortcuts on the actual desktop. And this is what made the difference for me because I don't want to use the app here because the app doesn't have the shortcuts I want to use on a desktop. But with working in a browser, this thing works really fast and really fine. I don't need anything else than the browser to get my work done. I could even launch Google Drive. And you see it launches Google Drive as a desktop version, which is pretty cool because all the things I can do are on here. Let's go to something that is public. Well, let's do something I need to do. This is something I need to feedback today. Usually I like open my tabs that I need and then the stuff that I need to do. This is a feedback I need to give for Tessa, which is much easier to read on here, although I do it quite often on here, but on the go I use speech to text. So yeah, I can now go through here with the desktop experience and give pretty normal feedback like this. Pretty cool. Now, I want to know if this cable is enough to launch that because then all I need is my device and a cable. And that's easy to carry. Come on, buddy. There we go. Hello, future. Use Samsung DeX touchpad. So I can do that. Now, this thing is my touchpad. So I don't need the mouse. Let's 
HDMI 2. Wow, here we are. And same with this Samsung DeX, it's the touchpad. With this one, you would have to have a mouse. With this one, you would have the option as a touchpad. I didn't connect a keyboard yet. So this keyboard doesn't work because there is no USB port here. But you know what? What I'd want to try if an HDMI ad adapter is enough. This is, as you see, like, it just relaunched what I have in the browser because I was using the Chrome browser, right? So when I launch the browser, which is in the cloud and then everything is synced, I still have the text that, uh, that I wanted to publish. So let's switch to this HDMI cable and let's put this USB device into this adapter. <laughs> All you need is this USB-C to HDMI cable. So this is technically a USB-C to HDMI cable. So if you don't want that, you don't need that. And now I wanna see if the keyboard works, right? It works, my goodness. <laughs> ah, this is so cool. You just use the adapter, which you have anyways with you, plug the keyboard in and you're good to go. Or you connect a Bluetooth keyboard to the to the device. This is definitely, if you want to ask like, what is the future of computing? Honestly, like even if you think this is still so early and not good, for me, if I just not have to edit a movie or want to edit a movie, or if I just publish public social media, because I do that quite often from the phone anyways, I do a lot of editing on the phone from the thumbnails. I can show you how I do that. Um, maybe it's even another good video to like edit a thumbnail, like everything from, from the phone, even edit a whole movie from the phone and then use this if you need a screen from time to time, that's enough. So, let me know what you think and make sure you subscribe. There. And there's another video made by the artificial intelligence from YouTube, so it might as well be a good video to watch. Make sure you watch that and then you subscribe after the video. Both is fine. Thanks for watching, guys.